Let's now shift focus to our big story of the day. Indian Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman is about to unveil the first ever digital-only budget for the financial year 2021-22. And this year's union budget assumes special significance in wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. Today's will be a budget of many firsts. The first time in history of independent India that the budget papers will not be printed. The Finance Ministry has decided not to print the budget. That is the documents in physical form this time amid the pandemic scare. It will be digitally most accessible, the union budget of all times, that is, available online on Union Budget, the mobile app. As Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government tries to bring the country's economy back on track, the government has promised a game-changer of plans to boost economic growth for an economy facing its worst contraction in decades. The recovery of demand should remain a key focus to reclaim economic recovery, the finance minister will also have to revive declining revenues and restore millions of jobs lost during the COVID-19 lockdown earlier last year. Amid the massive health crisis, the healthcare sector also merits special attention. Looking to fix the shortcomings exposed by the pandemic, the government may expand the Ayushman Bharat initiative. Experts are hopeful of healthcare spending being doubled in the next fiscal year. The total expenditure in the healthcare sector might also be raised to 4% of gross domestic output in the coming four years. A dedicated health fund could also be set up as part of the plan, while the government could also increase health tax to fund the new program. The Reserve Bank of India is expecting a sharp rise in bad loans in the banking system due to the pandemic, and creation of a bad bank could finally be announced by the government. The move will aim to boost lending and improve the valuation of state-run banks before selling stakes in them, where bad assets of state-run banks could be parked and later sold at a discounted price in the market. India has also set a target of building infrastructure worth trillions, which will be implemented as part of the government's spending push in the infrastructure sector. But given the revenue constraints and strained banks' loan books, Funding the infrastructure projects may be a challenge and hence experts believe that Sita Raman may also announce a dedicated development financial institution to facilitate financing greenfield infrastructure projects in the country. Industry experts are expecting more measures for the ruling government's flagship Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. India is also considering hiking the import duties by 5 to 10 percent on more than 50 items including smartphones, electronic components and appliances. The move to increase the import duties is part of Prime Minister Modi's self-reliant India campaign that aims to promote and support domestic manufacturing. A further impetus to make an India program is also likely in the budget. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.